What's going on guys? My name is Absolutely Blake and welcome back to my channel. You may notice something different about this video and that is because I got a new camera, which is actually the first fact in today's video, which is 50 more facts about me. Now this is actually the fifth video that I've done in the whole installment of this series and I'll list all the other ones in the description below. So that technically means there's 250 facts about me that I've stated on this channel. Like all my last fact videos, I'm gonna number each and every single fact up in the corner over there or over there. I haven't decided yet, probably over there because it's more white. If you share a similar fact with me, comment that number and I will know how much I have in common with my viewers. The more comments the better because we'll have more in common and low key it's engagement and helps me with my views. <laughs> Number one, I got a new camera. Yes, you can see a lot more of the frame and that is because I finally have upgraded from a crop sensor to a full frame camera. And if you don't know what that means, basically I've had the exact same lens for the whole career of my YouTube. All four years I've had a wide angle 17 to 40 millimeter lens, but you couldn't get the full effect because I used to be using a crop sensor camera, which would look like this when on my other camera if positioned in the same spot, which is normally what my camera like would be. I'd just be a little bit further back. But now that I have a full frame camera, it actually can capture everything that the lens can do. So yeah, you can you can see a lot of shit, <laughs> which means I need to get a better background because that shit's gonna get dull. I'm happy. Despite my intelligence nowadays, I was actually really smart in high school. In fact, I got 94% in math. I got like 80 something in geography. The only class I was terrible at was English. And I'm sure you can tell because in a lot of my videos, my grammar is terrible or I say words that don't even exist like the word funner, like that was funner than the other thing, but that doesn't even exist in the dictionary. See, I almost fucked up my sentence there. <laughs> I always thought it was so boring. So I just never really like indulged into it. Math, however, I'll crunch those numbers. And this is a screenshot of my transcript to show you uh, what my grades were. Yeah, a couple of them were bad. I did get a 64 somewhere in one of my math classes, but that's because I had a girlfriend and just learned what sex was. So I was skipping. I have seen all of the Office episodes, like the whole series, at least 10 times within the last six or seven months. I only like black socks. I've never been a big fan of white ones. I could settle for gray, that'd be fine. But you can see I got black and gray. In previous fact videos, I used to say that tequila was my favorite hard liquor. And in fact, it's still up there in the top three. However, its harshness has been taking a toll on my throat and I no longer enjoy purchasing it. If it's given to me, sure. However, Captain Morgan Pineapple Rum. Now, I don't even like rum. I hate rum. Dark liquor sucks, but this is a clear liquor and it tastes like pineapple. And I almost gagged just talking about it because I've drank too much of it, but it's my favorite. <laughs> Some of my favorite EDM DJs right now, because you guys always ask what type of music I'm listening to. I love Marshmallow, Drollo, Quix, and there's one more that I wrote down, and Troy Boy. That guy is gonna be at Contact Music Festival in Vancouver this year, December 28th and 27th. December 27th and 28th, one of those fucking days. If you're going to Contact, comment that shit down below because I'd love to meet up with anybody that's going because I know a lot of people actually live in Vancouver. I'm just always too pussy to have a meet and greet. My favorite rapper is Whit Lowry. I think I've mentioned that before. I'm not sure and I do want to share that with you guys again because it's going off on music and that's because he's super real, kind of like how I'm trying to be on my videos. I'm trying to be the most open. He's super real in the fact that he's relatable in his rap songs. And it's like mellow rap. It's stuff that you can get down to, especially if you're feeling down, he'll help cheer you up. I finally bought a car, guys. So no more transit. And the thing's actually pretty dirty. In fact, I bought it when I was traveling in Ontario because I drove past it on the highway and was like, I want that. I went in. I talked the guy down and to be honest, I'm, I know why I was able to talk him down because this thing is broken down four times on me. However, I think I finally fixed everything wrong with it and I'm very happy. And it is a hardtop convertible, which I know it's kind of girly, but I love it. And obviously it's a BMW because that is my favorite brand. It's my third one and they've all broken down the same way. So I should probably pick a new brand. I can drive a manual car. In fact, all the cars that I've ever had have been manual except for my very first one. I have over 800 matches on Tinder and no I'm not trying to be cocky because yes I have swiped right on a couple of people that I probably would have swiped left on I'm just too lazy to delete the match I've only ever actually met up with like four or five in the matter of having this app for like five years minus the two years I was in a relationship because you got to delete it if you're in a relationship I'm still single black ops 4 is the only game that I'm playing on PlayStation right now Fortnite season 7 I think it is is coming out or is out now by the time you guys have seen this video so I'll probably be playing that again but right now just black 
Ops 4, Prestige 3, been killing it. My PlayStation 4 name is Squirt ZX, in case anybody wants to play it. I coincidentally ended up being in Ontario for my whole family's birthdays, like all of their birthdays, and that was unplanned. Did not mean for that to happen, and actually my sister's the one who pointed that out. I cracked my iPhone X and broke the speaker and microphone, so I don't know if you can see the crack. Ooh, fucked it. Uh, the longest I've ever stayed up is 50 hours straight. I tried to do this with Lloyd He passed out first and then I shortly passed out after him and I do want to try and beat this So if that's something you guys would want me to film I'll happily film it Just let me know if it's not something you want me to film Don't say anything and I'll just do it on my own time <laughs> I'm not good at English, but I compensate for math I said this earlier when I was talking about my grades in school. So same same I kind of gypped you on a fact there. I wear Movement watches, MVMT. They sent me a watch and I absolutely love it. Despite not having many of them on my channel, vlogs are actually my funnest videos to film. I love just carrying my camera around all day and like filming my friends doing stupid shit and filming myself doing stupid shit. Cause way before I did YouTube, I bought a flip camcorder with my cousin Clayton and we used to film everything. And we put some cool shit together. It'd be kind of awesome to come across those videos, which I know I have somewhere on CDs. I have had my own home, this one that I'm in right now, since October, 2018. And I've actually only slept in this bed for a total of eight days max. I always sleep on the couch out there watching The Office. I eat cottage cheese straight. Protein! I just bought a new hat. I like it a lot. It's got a thicker triangle, so I'm hoping that I can get more of these ones made. And hats will be coming soon, guys. I just dropped my first merch line. Unfortunately, it was limited time, so you can no longer get any. However, I'm gonna be releasing more soon. Maybe you'll see the snapbacks there. I have been on YouTube for four years. I think I said that like three videos ago. You already know that one. Gypped you again, I'm sorry. <laughs> These are hard to think of when you've already done 200. I didn't know how to swim till I was like six or seven. I can do a backflip on flat ground, or at least I used to be able to, because I have not tried it in two years. I just got back from Toronto, which I also just mentioned I was there, so my bad. And I broke my foot the second day I was there. This bad boy, it actually hurts right now while I'm filming this, it fucking hurts. It's just sitting there. They didn't cast it because I broke, this is the good one. I broke the side of it, so the bone's like sticking out. Nothing they can do about that. Live with it, Blake. Pineapple does go on pizza. It's just not something that I would order. I will eat it though. Usually I'll get pepperoni and mushrooms. I get triggered really easily. And I think people online know that because they'll say something and for some reason, I always have to retaliate, which I know I need to overcome that so that I just don't give a fuck, which I normally don't. But sometimes somebody will just say the right thing and I'm like, I've been gymming three to five times a week since April of this year. So almost nine months now. And I think I have seen a big improvement. There's me now. And then here's like a photo of me right when I started. I'm very energetic. In fact, I think that is because I live off of pre-workout. That shit is bomb. I'm also very petty. That's not a very good trait. I love energy drinks. Hence the pre-workout when I'm not working out. <laughs> I love procrastinating a lot when it comes to doing real things, such as filming videos. I love it, but I procrastinate. I'm like, oh, I could eat food right now, or I could be playing COD, but I'm like, I need to film, and I also love doing this. However, I never do it when I'm supposed to. The only reason I'm keeping up on top of it right now is because of my good friend, Jeremy. You know him. He has been on my ass about getting work done this week. He's like, let's go, let's go. Let's go. For the new people out there, despite what you might think from some of my videos, I am straight. However, I'm not 100% straight. I don't think anybody in the world is, but this isn't because I'm about to go have sex with a guy or put a penis in my mouth. This is because simply I can appreciate a good looking dude. And on top of that, I don't mind kissing guys. That doesn't bother me. Everyone's got a set of lips, but not everyone's got a vagina. And that's something I look for in a person. I trim my pubes. I don't clean shave. I used to when I was younger. However, it's just easier this way now. I absolutely I absolutely hate when my phone is at 75% battery or less. It always has to be fully charged because you never know what kind of adventure you might be going on that you might need a full battery for. I've never done a real collab with another real YouTuber. I've only ever collabed with friends. The closest I ever came to it was doing a collab with MikeMGTV where we kind of roasted each other's Instagrams, but we still weren't actually with each other. And I'm really hoping in 2019, I can bring that to my channel and collab with some people that you guys want to see like Joy Gentile, MikeMGTV in person. I met another guy, I'm not going to mention his name. He's pretty big on YouTube. He wants to do a collab. That's gonna be dope. So I'm excited to bring you guys some better quality collabs in 2019. I use Dr. Dre Deep headphones at the gym. They were on sale one day and I said, fuck it. Chest and abs are my favorite workout day. I actually used to never be able to bounce my pecs and I think I can a little bit now, let's see, let's see. 
Ooh, that's been my goal since last year. I'm gonna eat pierogies tonight. I'm truly a little bitch. Guys, well aware of it. I own up to it. <laughs> my mom used to paint my nails with clear nail polish so that I'd stop biting them. It did not work, and I'm trying so hard to stop biting my nails. If you guys have any ideas on how I can stop, because I do it unconsciously when I'm super nervous and I tear them apart, but I wanna get over it really bad. Whenever I'm going for a drive, doesn't matter if it's 6 a.m., doesn't matter if I'm hungover, I always have the music full blast. Could be trap music, could be rap, could be sad songs, but it's always cranked. I love loud music, I love feeling bass. And finally, I hope this is fact 50 because I haven't been keeping track of how many I've done, so don't kill me if it's not. I have been in a four car pile up car crash. This happened in Ontario with my very first BMW. I ran out of gas because I was trying to see how far I could go on the gas light. And let me tell you, it was 90 kilometers. They lie to you when they say you only got 20 kilometers left. I made it pretty far, but my car stalled. Person behind me hit me, person behind her hit her, person behind them hit them and boom. I was lucky I was in the front because that just means the people behind we were riding too close. No matter the fact that I ran out of gas, I was in the clear. I survived a pileup. <laughs> and yeah, guys, that is 50 more facts about me, a total of 250. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make another video like this because I am running out of shit to talk about it myself. Like, I don't even know. But if you wanna go see all the other facts about me, I will link them in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember, comment which facts relate to you so I can see what we have in common. Follow me on Instagram at AbsolutelyBlake and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Thursday and Saturday. Oh,